The weapons all over the field. Let's see which one Goff chooses on third and six. It is a tight end Laporta who is defended well by Josh Metellus in this Vikings defense. Good spiraling punt. Back to the five goes Kali Freeman. Kali Freeman with room. Kali Freeman with speed. Raymond with a blocker ahead. Stumbles to the 45 and takes it all the way back near midfield. Lions having the kind of season they've waited a long time for. Trying to put the finishing touches. From the 48-yard line. Field position flip with that return. Goff looking up top. Let's it rip. Almond Ross St. Brown is loose and down the sideline. Almond Ross St. Brown is 113th catch of the year. Quarterbacks, they've been leaning on this deep. Fake to Montgomery. Wide open Laporta. Easy touchdown for the Lions. A lot of times you will do this, but watch Sam Laporta right here. He actually goes to the ground. That really sells it to Josh Metellus. Well, there's no way they're throwing it to 87. Here's pressure and a sack. Jack Campbell on the blitz gets there to Mullins. First down at the Minnesota 44. Fake to Gibbs. Goff loads up. Let's it rip. Man open. Perfect throw. Kelly Freeman. Spot him out of bounds inside the five. Four teams over his first five years, pretty much just as a return man. The key guy is a receiver here. Here's a toss. Here's Gibbs. Here's the corner and a touchdown. I mean, just watch these guys out here, and then you've got James Mitchell coming in motion to pick up Josh Metellus. Cameron Bynum is fighting to get off Sam Laporta. And nine of those 12 guys have been acquired in the last three years with that new regime. Ty Chandler on a toss on first down, has a hole, and has his best game of the day, 14 yards. Toss it up there. Johnny Munn has the grab and a first down. On third and 30, they get 32. Okay, Minnesota has two of those four. Out of the timeout, Mullins over the middle. There's Jefferson. Made a man miss. Made another miss. And dove inside the 10. It's a first down for Justin Jefferson. And again at 22. End around in the hands of Jefferson. He looks to throw. Thrown down by Aiden Hutchinson. Heard a season-long 54-yarder last week. This one from 39. Trying to get the Vikings on the board. He will. Fox's second punt. is a beauty. Powell. Watches it bounce inside the 10. You cannot walk it down there any better than that. Ball is now loose. And Lions down it inside the 10. They're going to spot it at the 1. Spam controlled fury. Maybe a little controlled fury from that group. In the flats, Oliver. His second catch. And it's a big gainer out to the 25-yard line. He said he doesn't have to like it. Play action, Blitz is picked up, but that's not enough to get the job done because Aiden Hutchinson is there for the set. Third down, less than one. It's Gibbs, and he's ripped down in the backfield by Daniil Hunter. Back at the top of his game the last couple seasons. Healthy again, dominant again. Minnesota still with an outside shot at getting into the playoffs. Mullins has Jefferson wide open. And has close to 30 yards on the first play of this drive. That ability to just maintain possession, don't make those critical mistakes. That's what he has to get rid of. Out of the backfield comes Chandler. Anzalone waits for him. Chandler beats him. Shows off that speed. Man, oh man, because Anzalone's a good sideline to sideline linebacker. And a sack for Hutchinson. His fifth in the last two games. Hits again. The Vikings need either a New Orleans or a Tampa Bay loss. 
in awe at times of what he does on a football field. Do you want to talk about a classy guy and a great person? Holy cow, he's the whole package. Ty Chandler, room off the left side. Big play for Ty Chandler into Lions territory and crashing to the 38. It's play action. Nobody open immediately. Goff on the move and a strike for Peoples-Jones. What a throw. And especially given the situation, Donovan Peoples-Jones for 20 yards into Detroit first down. On what we should do from a pressure standpoint in his base formations with the defense. There goes Skipper in motion. It's Montgomery. It is a Lions touchdown. Career high 13th of the year for Montgomery. This is a great job. It's going to be Harrison Smith and David Montgomery meeting, you know, in the hole for the touchdown. And that, that's one of your better safeties. Came into the day with a shot. He's about 70 away now. Trying to become just the sixth duo in NFL history to reach 1,000 yards in a year. Kane Wangu to the 27. They're trying to throw for it. Mullins flushed off his spot and sacks. Levi Onzerike, the fourth Detroit sack of the afternoon. It's a pass. It's a deep ball. It's Jefferson for the touchdown. Justin Jefferson has the Vikings within a score. Beating Kendall Vildor for a 38-yard score. You know, on all the other ones on the fourth downs, it's been just traditional runs. And not much there. You know, Kendall Vildor just let... Fake to Jameer Gibbs. Deep throw from Goff. Down the sideline, St. Brown. Almond Ross, St. Brown in a foot race. Eyes on the end zone. Cuts it back. St. Brown is all the way. Touchdown, Detroit. You want to be 100%. You want to feel 100%. And <laughs> he just been grinding at it. I don't know what a Caleb Evans is doing. Obviously a blown coverage. You thought you had help over the top. It looked like Andrew Booth got caught in the middle of, of the field. We saw a similar play like that earlier in the game that didn't go as far for a touchdown. But it was a huge explosive play. And again, the sneaky ability of, the, of this team, this offense, when you've got the mentality of Dan Campbell and you know, just kind of the tight end position and, and rough and tumble, and we're building it around the offensive line. The weapons that they have. Rams are one of those sneaky teams, too, right? I mean, kind of that competitive rebuild this year, and then all of a sudden at the end, they're, they're viable. Mullins has Jefferson with another big gain in the Lions' territory. Maybe going to have Puka Nakua or Cooper Cup coming in here next week. Mullins now wants it all with Addison. Touchdown! A strike right back for Minnesota. 42 yards from Mullins to Addison, and it's again a one-score game. And I wish I could show you that it's a double move or, or something unique, but it's not. I mean, it's just they're running right past them. And I don't understand Cam Sutton sitting on that with no safety help over the top. And, and there's, again, we, you know, Nick Mullins, you know, the interceptions, we talk about that courage in the pocket, standing in and making that throw. Metellus coming on the blitz. Gibbs picks him up. Goff on the move, throws against the green, and has James Mitchell. Just the second catch of the season for the tight end, and he goes for 24 yards. Third and six. Goff in trouble in sacks. Back at the 21-yard line, Daniil Hunter. With his commitment with his starters being out there. Badgley with an important field goal here. Makes it a two-score game. Blitz. Mullins hit as he throws and picked off by Cam Sutton. Sutton on the return, crosses the 35. And the Lions are three minutes away from the finishing touches on a franchise record 12-win regular season. Third down and five for Mullins and the Vikings lofted right to the free safety and picked by Gardner Johnson. In his first game since week two, he's got the pick. They've matched the franchise record with 12 wins. Another box checked. What is next for Dan Campbell and the Lions? They head to the playoffs for the first time in seven years.
with a look for their first playoff win since 1991.